everyone, welcome back to the final brand edit video. And if you saw the last one that I did, that was with Cossas. Spoiler, there was quite a few things that I really enjoyed from that video that have slowly made their way into my everyday routine. I will link the video up there in the corner for you if you missed that. But I asked in that video what you would like to see for the final brand edit video. And it was between two brands. It was either Victoria Beckham Beauty or Charlotte Tilbury. So little story time for you. Saturday morning, I go on the comments, I'm commenting back, I'm liking. I see that at that point, the Victoria Beckham Beauty had the most thumbs up. So I go, I see what I've got in my stash. I see what I need to order to like make it a well-rounded video where I've tested out all the products and I've got everything here to show you. Go on Cold Beauty, sadly, the things that I needed weren't in stock. So I've had to order directly from Victoria Beckham Beauty where I know that the shipping is a little bit slower because it comes from the US. So that was on Saturday lunchtime-ish. I made the order. I paid £25 <laughs> in shipping to get express shipping that should be here within, I think it said two to three business days. It's currently Thursday when I'm recording this video. So we are on the fourth business day. And has FedEx arrived with my parcel? No, they haven't. <laughs> so we're working with what I've got here. And that is also just something to note. In the UK, we can get Victoria Beckham Beauty on Cult Beauty, which personally, I just like to order from. Their shipping is so quick, <laughs> but there is a bit of lag. So new launches tend to be a bit delayed on there. You might be able to get your hands on them. And actually they were out of stock of quite a few things that I wanted to buy. But if you do order from Victoria Beckham Beauty directly in the UK, it's coming from the US, it's not gonna be the quickest shipping unless you pay 25 pounds. <laughs> Even in that case, it might not arrive when you want it to. So just a note with that. But actually I did have quite a few things. There's a fair amount of Victoria Beckham products that I have in my routine. And the things that I was ordering were things that I had tried before, but just passed on to friends and family because they weren't really for me. So when they arrive, I will do the same thing. My friends and family, they love a bit of Victoria Beckham Beauty. It's all good. Everything will go to a new home. So I have tested everything in the range over time and I can provide feedback on it, but let's get started. Sorry, the light is in, it's out. It can't make its mind up today, but as always, I'm trying to do this video with natural light so you can see what things look like on my face. Now, Victoria Beckham, does have a primer. It is the Cell Rejuvenating Primer and it is made in conjunction with Augustinus Bader who do like fancy schmancy, super expensive skincare. So this primer is pricey. It comes in travel sizes, which are obviously a little bit more affordable. But if you go for the whole, like the whole hog, the big one, it's over a hundred pounds. <laughs> and that is a lot for a primer. Um, I had the original one and I really liked it. I liked mixing it with the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. That was a little combination that I had going on. I'm not so crazy about the golden one. I feel the golden one has like thicker kind of shimmery glitteriness to it. Um, so I'm not wild about that one. And although I like the original, I would say it is not worth the hundred plus pounds. And actually I feel like my one went off quite quickly. It went kind of thick and gloopy and then started to make everything that I mixed it with on my skin look quite dry. So I'm not sure I would recommend that. Also same goes for the serum. I know that's like not a makeup product, but the serum is so expensive. It's really, really hard to get out the dropper. And although it looks lovely in your skincare cabinet, again, that wouldn't be something that I would recommend. At the current time of filming, she doesn't do a foundation, she doesn't do a concealer. So I just sort of made it up and I thought, what would she bring out if she was to bring out that? I think she'd bring out a tinted moisturizer -y type product, like a, like a NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. Also, I'm just loving this tinted moisturizer at the moment. Or a Charlotte Tilbury, um, like Hollywood, flawless filter. I think she'd bring out something that had coverage, but also a lot of glow. The concealer, I could see her coming out with a pot concealer. So I did use the Glossier. This is the stretch concealer in the shade light today under my eyes and on any redness. And she also doesn't have any brow products. Um, so I just use the Glossier boy brow and um, this is in clear. Again, I could, I could see her coming out with a brow gel more than I could a brow pencil, but who knows? Who knows what is next? Um, but finally, I'm gonna 
stop talking and actually use a Victoria Beckham beauty product. The most recent launch that she did were bronzers. So these are the matte bronzing bricks. This is the shade 01 over here. And then this is the shade 02. I would say 01 for me is more of a like winter bronzer combo and O2 definitely feels a little bit more summery. She says you can play around with the shades. You can use one shade more for contouring and one just for adding general warmth all over the face. I personally just smush them both together and apply both of them all over and I've really been enjoying 02. So I'm going to do that today. The packaging for Victoria Beckham Beauty is like absolutely lush. It is so gorgeous. This tortoise shell, oh, it's lovely. And actually this packaging is reusable so you can buy refills once you've used the bronzer up, which I love. So this is a side with bronzer, this is without. I really like this bronzer. I will say it's very pigmented. A little goes a long way for sure. It's available in five shades. I'd say the only drawback, aside from it being quite pigmented, which I feel like some people will love and other people will prefer something that's a bit more sheer, a bit more buildable, is the price. What is the price of this? I know that it's pricey. £52. Oh, that is so pricey. Um, I'd say that the Vive bronzer that um, Jamie's just bought out is actually a really decent dupe because it has the same thing, like two different bronzy shades that you can mix and match. I think that one's available in four shades and I have a feeling it's more around the £30 mark. Very similar compact as well. The other thing to note is this is a matte bronzing brick. I do find it quite mattifying if I've got a super dewy base and then I apply this. I'm like, oh, it's definitely dinned down the glowiness in the cheeks, which actually I feel like I'm quite oily right now. So I kind of appreciate it, but I would say that's something to keep in mind. If you are quite dry and dehydrated and you like love a cream bronzer, I'm not sure this would be the bronzer for you. I feel like blush could be next. I don't have any insider knowledge. I am not basing that on anything, but I feel like this type of compact, but with two blush colors or like a blush and a highlight, Maybe that could be round the corner, but there's currently no blush and there's currently no highlight option unless you were to use the Cell Rejuvenating Primer in Golden as a highlighter, which you definitely could. So I'm just going to throw on a bit of the Refi um, highlighter just for a little bit of glow on the cheeks. I feel like Vicky likes to look, you know, a little bit glowy. So brows we've mentioned, but actually when it comes to eyes, she actually has quite a comprehensive lineup. You could do a whole eye look. There isn't an eye primer, but she has got eyeshadow. She does like little quads. I've got one of those here to show you today. She also does the lid lusters, which are very similar to the hourglass, like scattered light, is that what it's called? Like a dip in pot of super shimmery kind of eyeshadow topper. She has that available in six shades. That was one of the things I was trying to get my hands on. I have tried them over the years. I've just always passed them on to friends and family, but I was trying to get my hands on Honey because that's just the nicest one in my eyes. It's like a golden shimmery like copper. It's a really, really pretty shade. But they're lovely, but that's just not a, a genre of product that I particularly use a lot. I'm not into really shimmery eyeshadow. So although I'd say they're nice, I'd say like the hourglass ones are really similar. If you've got one that you already love, I'm sure it's fine. I wouldn't say they're anything special, but then that's also me because it's just like not my kind of product. She does eyeliners. I have two colors here to share with you today that are always in my routine. And she also has a mascara. What's the mascara called? It is the Future Lash Mascara. It's 26 pounds. Um, I actually tried this for the first time recently and I liked it. However, I would say it's really like the Glossier Lash Slick. It's very lengthening. I'd say it doesn't hold a curl, but it does hold a lift and it's just very natural looking. I remember it came out around this time last year and everyone was like, it's the perfect lockdown, like working from home mascara. But then have you seen anyone talk about it since then? Like, I don't think it's anyone's like favorite favorite. I mean, there must be some people it's their favorite favorite. If, if it is yours, comment down below. What do you think? But for me, I was like, doesn't hold a curl. It's not my fave. It's very comparable to Lash Slick 
in my opinion. So those are my thoughts on that. Again, I was trying to get my hands on that so I could show you, but I have got the Smoky Eye Brick in Tweed, and then also the Satin Kajal Liners in the shade Coco and Bordeaux. These three products live in my routine and I love them. I'd say the Smoky Eye Brick is my most used Victoria Beckham product here. Ooh, aside from maybe a lipstick. <laughs> so let's chat about that first. These are available in five different shades and one of them is a pure shimmer palette. So if you love shimmers, you're not so crazy into mattes, that's the one for you. It's very like neutral, golden, like earthy tones. But I love a matte and I just, I love tweed. <laughs> if you want a size reference on the bronzers, these are the bronzers and these are the eyeshadows. So they're like the mini version. So cute. So tweed has four different eyeshadows in it. You've got like a nice caramelly warm brown. You've got more of a cocoa. You've got this purple and then also this ready shade as well. I mean, take, take a guess as to what is my most used <laughs> color of these four. <sighs> it's kind of obvious. <laughs> You can see it has a lot of love in my stash. It's looking a little bit scraped up on the back, but it's fine from the front and everything is all good inside. And I also love that you get the mirror in there too. I'm gonna show you like the everyday look that I do with this palette that is basically just using this gigantic brown here and not really touching the rest of it. But I have over the years used the other shades. They're nice for adding a little bit of definition in sort of like an eyelinery way. That's how I would use all four. But I just think, I mean, that's so quick and so easy. And I've basically done my eye look. I'm just always very satisfied when I use this quad. I always really enjoy the end result. I feel like it lasts really well, especially if I pair it with a primer. And it's not too warm, but it's not too cool. It's somewhere in the middle. I wear this a lot. It's probably my most used eyeshadow that isn't a single. So that's the eyeshadow on its own. I'm gonna finish it off with the eyeliners. I really like these eyeliners. These are the only two eyeliners that I have in my collection. <laughs> I genuinely think they are. Bordeaux is this one here. It's a very deep um, like wine burgundy shade and then Coco is here. Um, I don't really subscribe to black eyeliners. They just don't look fab on me. So this is what I would use instead of a black eyeliner. On one end, you have a smudger, which, spoiler, I never really use. Um, and they're actually like a wooden, sharpen it yourself kind of job. I have to get so close to the mirror in order to do this, but I will show you a close up of it at the end. But I just like to apply this on the outer corner of the lashes, smudge it out a bit with a brush. And I'm like, yes, that is that done but I think it pairs really nicely with this brown having this warm camel shade and then this like burgundy ready purpley kind of color so let's do that now can you even see that I'm not sure <laughs> probably not but it just gives the tiniest little wash of burgundy I've really blended that out and I like these liners because they've got a real creaminess there's loads of blend out time it's very easy to move around You've got like a solid five minutes before it sticks down and then it's long wearing. It ain't going anywhere. Um, I really love the liners. I'd say they're one of my top picks. I mean, actually everything that I've got here pretty much is a top pick because it's part of my everyday stash. So, so far bronzer, love. Eyeshadow palette in tweed, love. The eyeliners, especially the one in Bordeaux, love. I'm gonna throw on some mascara and then let's talk about lips. For lips, there are plenty of products to pick from. She has a lip definer, which I'm pretty sure is available in five shades or six shades. I really like the shade one. That again was one of the products that was making its way to me. Um, but again, that was a product that I had passed on to a friend because it was so similar to the KKW Beauty nude lip liner that I have. And I prefer the KKW Beauty one, just because it was more creamy, it was more comfortable to wear. I find the Victoria Beckham liners to be a little bit hard, a little bit scratchy, but I loved the color of it. So I'm kind of on the fence about the lip definers. However, the lipsticks we need to talk about and also the lip stains. I think they're called like the Just Bitten, Bitten Lip Tints. Um, we also need to talk about those. In fact, I'm gonna talk about this one first because these I'm not so crazy about. I'd say the packaging is lush again. It looks a little something like this. It's got such a nice like weightiness to it. And then when you open it up, you've got this lip stain on a doe for applicator. There are now three of these lip stains um, and the other two are just, are just too ready. They're too ready, they're too raspberry. That's just not a lip color that I generally like gravitate towards. However, 
She's just bought out a more, um, which is marketed as their sort of peachy, brownie lip tint. I'm gonna put it on today because from the images online, I feel like it looks, oh, so caramelly and really beautiful and really peachy. But this is one of those things that's gonna be different on everyone's lips. And my lips are naturally quite deeply pigmented and I don't really like to wear anything that makes them look more brown. I personally feel like this makes them look more brown. So I'm just gonna, pop it on for you so it's on the bottom lip and not the top the finish of it is really nice it's got this sort of sheen that eventually dries down and it just leaves this stain on your lips but for me it just it leaves my lips looking too brown i'm not crazy about it so if like me you were thinking like oh a really nice peachy lip tint mm. On my lips, personally, it's a bit too brown for me. But the Posh lipsticks, I mean, maybe it is my favorite launch from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I just think they nailed it with formula, they nailed it with presentation, they look beautiful. The color range was really nice. It really felt like there was something for everyone. There was reds, there was nudes for all different skin tones. There was like purples, pinks. I really like them. <laughs> Yes, they are pricey, but I have two in my collection and quite honestly, I feel like you could get rid of practically all of my lipsticks and just leave me with these two and I'd be very, very happy indeed. So first up we have Pout. Pout is very pinky. This is more of my like, ooh, summery shade. Ooh, I love it. I adore this shade. It is my perfect peachy pink. I adore the formula. It's got that very um, balmy feel on the lips. They're so comfortable to wear. Um, I just think she really, really nailed it with these and I love that shade. And then the one that I wear the most often is Girl. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this has been quite loved. I know it looks quite brown on the screen, but on my lips, this is sort of just a my lips but better sort of shade. It's a bit like MAC Yash, which I was obsessed with for the longest time. And it's got just the right amount of oranginess. I'm actually gonna pop a little bit of pout over the top because I feel like the stain <laughs> has made my lips more brown and I want a little bit more pinkiness in them. But they're just so comfortable to wear and I feel like they're the ultimate no lipstick lipstick, if you know what I mean. They're based, they're what, they're what Glossier Ultra Lip like wants to be, which is a real shame because I feel like these are probably double the price of Glossier Ultra Lip, but they were a gorgeous, gorgeous launch and these two have been in my routine ever since so that was the victoria beckham brand review i'm so sorry i didn't have all of the products here hopefully they arrive <laughs> <laughs> who knows where they are but as i mentioned i had enough here to share with you anyway and the things that i have shared with you are the things that i really really love the bronzer is great the eyeshadow palette wonderful the eyeliners i really enjoy and then those two lip colors are just lip colors that i will always have in my routine so hopefully you enjoyed that i would love to hear what your favorites from victoria beckham are pop them down in the comments i would love to see thank you so much for watching everything will be linked down below as always and i will see you soon for a brand new video bye